Hello students. So as we have been solving the JE main paper of 2017, this is the question number 37 from set D. In this question, we have been given a copper ball which was at initial temperature capital T. So that temperature is what we temperature that we don't know. So let us assume that this copper ball was at a temperature capital T was then dropped into a calorimeter of copper containing water. The other information which were given is the mass of the copper ball is 100 grams. The mass of the calorimeter which was having the water inside it is also 100 grams. And the mass of the water contained inside the calorimeter is nothing but 170 grams. So these are the information that is given about the masses. Now let's check what was the other information given additional in addition to the masses. So we know that the water and as well as the calorimeter as initially at a temperature of room temperature that is given to given to be 30 degrees Celsius over here. So before that copper ball was dropped into the calorimeter containing water, they were initially at 30 degrees Celsius. After this entire system was allowed to uh, come back to an equilibrium, the final temperature of the system was 75 degrees Celsius. That means the temperature of calorimeter as well as the water increased from 30 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. In this question, we have been asked to find the temperature initially at which the copper ball was. Now, the solution to this should be fairly clear. First, we need to apply the conservation of heat energy. Why? Because whatever the heat was gained by water and calorimeter, how do we know that this heat was gained by both of them? Because initially they were at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and at the end of which the final temperature of the entire system was 75. That means mass, uh, that is that mass of water as well as the calorimeter must have gained heat. So heat was gained by these two. That means the copper must have lost some heat, the ball of copper must have lost some heat. So if these two heat energies are added, the value should not change because that is what heat energy, the conservation of heat energy says. So my mass of copper, whatever the heat is lost by it in the entire process, that should be equal to the amount of heat gained by water as well as the calorimeter. Using that same principle, let us now try and solve these equations. So my, my heat that is lost by the ball of copper of copper is equals nothing but equals to mc into delta t. This is the formula that we use where c is the specific heat. We know that the specific heat of copper is given by 0 0.1 kilo, uh, calories per gram degree Celsius. So in this case, my mass of copper I know is nothing but equals to 100 grams. My c is fairly simple. It's 0 0.1 uh, calorie per gram degree Celsius. Kindly note that we have to use the proper units here and my delta t. So initially it was at a temperature T and finally the entire system was adjusted to 75 degree Celsius. So this is what my delta T would be. This is the heat which is lost by copper ball or the mass that was dropped inside it. Now the heat which was gained by calorimeter would be MC delta T again. The mass of calorimeter as we know is nothing but 100. The calorimeter, the, uh, the specific heat would be equals to 0.1. I'm not writing the units once again. And the delta T would be nothing but initially they were at a temperature of 70, initially they were at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and finally they were at 75. So that would be 75 minus 30. Next, heat gained by water. This is a gained heat. Now, if you write in case of water, my mass is 170. I know the specific heat of water is nothing but one calorie per gram degree Celsius. And my water also came out to 75 after initially it was at 30. So the heat lost by ball of copper is equals to the heat gained by calorimeter and that will and plus added to that the heat gained by water. So if I write it as equation one, and I write this as equation two, and I write this as equation three. So on solving one equals to two plus three, you'll get the answer. And my value of T comes out to be 885 degree Celsius. 
Now, one thing to note over here is I was not too concerned while adding these two equations as all the units were in the same, th uh, were, uh, all the units were in the same SI units. So, if instead of converting any of them into kilos or anything else, I just need to add these two equations, I can easily add these two equations because they were in the same units on the left hand side as well as, as well as on the right hand side. So, the thing which we need to learn, which we need to understand over here is we use two principles. First is the conservation of heat energy and the second principle that we used was some of the bodies must have lost heat in order to gain, in order to other bodies to gain heat. How did we find out which bodies lost heat and which was the body which gained heat? That we saw by the changes in the temperature. So water and calorimeter were initially at 30 degrees Celsius and were finally at 75, that means they gained heat and this mass of copper must have lost some heat in order, to the, in order for these bodies to gain heat. So the final principle that comes into play over here is the conservation of heat energy. I hope you will able to understand and also to get this answer. Now please stay on, stay tuned to this channel in order to get more video solutions as, when we, as and when we upload it.